Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. Moira is available on the PTR right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything that this character is capable of. Now, I've already made videos basically describing what her abilities are, but there's a lot more stuff that I wanted to know, like just how much damage does she do? How much healing does she do? How much tracking do you actually need when you're trying to attack? Like what kind of interactions does her abilities have? All that sort of stuff. So that's what we're going to be testing right now. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because Anytime stuff like this comes out, I'll be sure to make videos and give you guys all the information that you need to know. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of it. Alright, so let me show you what this character can do. So first of all, yes, I did get the golden weapons just because it's PTR and I had the extra points so I figured why not, whatever. So that's what the golden weapons look like for Moira. Alright, so the first abilities that we're going to go through is her healing and her primary attack. So starting with her primary attack here, it is going to be the right click, and just like D.Va, it's infinite ammo and you never ever need to reload. You can just hold it down forever. Now, as far as what kind of lock-on does this have, it's somewhere in between Symmetra and Zarya. So let me show you here. So I'm going to start attacking right here, and then I'm going to move it a little bit to the left slowly, and you'll see when it locks on. Right about there. So that's about a good foot and a half two feet over to the right so that's pretty good like you don't actually have to be dead on with your accuracy that's a pretty good amount of leeway right there so again it's not quite as good as Symmetra but it's still a little bit better than Zarya's beam now the other thing is because you have infinite ammo if there's a lot of enemies you can just kind of swing it back and forth like that and you're gonna start hitting everybody that's there now there does seem to be like a, a tiny bit of a lock on where if you go really fast it doesn't really do any damage it does like a tiny 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 bit but you you can't just like wildly swing around and expect to like damage everybody that's not really how it works but the lock on like i said is pretty forgiving for this character so the next question is, just how far can that damage beam travel? And the answer is, it's pretty far. It's about 21 or so meters. So from here, the 20 meter mark, all the way up to there, which is the 40 meter. So that's 20 meters right there. And you'll notice if I come back here and I start attacking, I'm not going to hit, not going to hit, not going to hit, not going to hit. And right about there. So I am about, I don't know somewhere around uh, 21 meters maybe 22 ish somewhere around there so that is pretty far that is a long range attack that's definitely a lot farther than winston's auto lock or symmetra's auto lock so you can attack from a pretty good distance away with this now another really important thing about moira's damage is it will also heal you at the same time so I'm going to let this bot deal a little bit of damage to me, and then I can right-click, and it will actually heal me while I'm fighting the bot. So that is incredibly powerful. Now, moving on to the next thing, speaking of healing, is Moira's main heal. This is going to be her left-click, and this is also incredibly, incredibly powerful. It has the same healing per second as Ana, except... It can hit everyone on your team at the same time. So when you have all of your teammates in front of you, you'll notice that it goes through the first bot on the left and it still heals the bot on the right. The other thing is just like with the attack hitbox, the healing hitbox is pretty forgiving. So you don't have to aim directly at them. Now, because this healing is so incredibly powerful, they had to have a way to kind of like check it a little bit. And what they do is they have it on this resource meter in the middle here. You can see this. This is the biotic energy. And once this goes away, you can no longer heal. It's just gone. Now, you do automatically get some of that biotic energy back over time. Kind of like Torbjorn, how he gains scrap. But it's not really that reliable. You need to be able to fill that resource meter a lot faster. And in order to do that, you have to deal damage. So let me get rid of all of this. Now, these bots have 200 hit points total. So let me get rid of that. So once I deal 200 damage to this bot, you'll notice I'm about halfway on my biotic energy. 
and then I deal another 200 damage to this bot, and it brings me all the way to full. So basically, you have to do about 400 damage in order to completely refill your biotic energy. But keep in mind, it's actually a little bit less than that because you have the automatic regen that's going to be going as well. All right, so let's go into her abilities. So the first one is actually really simple to explain. It's the fade. It's essentially an incredibly strong wraith form is what it is. It's, it's just a much, much better version of wraith form. You move extremely fast, you're completely invulnerable, and you're invisible while you're moving around. And you don't have to move forward either, you can move anywhere you want. So you just tap it, and then you just use it to escape. Let me show you here, so... Like that. I mean, it, it's just crazy, crazy fast. And again, you're completely invisible and completely immune to everything. Man, if Reaper had this, it would be so ridiculous. Uh, but that's basically all that fate is. The next ability is Biotic Orb. So when you press it, you'll get this little interface. The left click is heal, right click is damage. You press it again, and it will cancel the ability. So the duration for these orbs is until their energy runs out. For healing, it's 300. For damage, it's 200. Or 10 seconds, which is basically the length of the cooldown. Now, during this time, they can bounce an infinite number of times. So let me show you with the damage orb here. So it's just going to keep bouncing forever and forever and forever until that 10 seconds runs out on that cooldown. There it goes. It's gone. You can fire off another one. And there it goes. All right. So the thing about these orbs is while they're traveling, they're obviously moving kind of fast, but if they start to heal or deal damage, depending on what it is, they will actually slow down quite a bit, and they'll try to heal or damage as much as they can until they run out or until the target is either full or, or dead, and then they start moving fast again. So let me show you. I'm going to fire off the healing orb here, and you can see it's moving kind of slow when it's near me because it's trying to heal, and then as soon as I'm at full, it just starts zipping around super fast you'll also notice that it's a lot smaller than it was so let me throw the healing orb again this will heal you. and it's just going to move really really fast because there's nothing to heal so that's pretty awesome now it doesn't just heal you obviously it does heal your teammates as well unfortunately on the training range there seems to be a bug where it will not heal the bot. So let me just show you that real fast just for the heck of it. So you see, like, it, it doesn't slow down. It just goes right through. So there's that. But the damage one actually does work. So let me show you this. So it does 200 damage total. Oh, it's like super tiny. Look at that. It's gone. It's gone. All right, so let me try another one. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, does it recharge your biotic energy? And the answer is, unfortunately, no, it does not. Does not recharge your biotic energy. And her last ability is her ultimate coalescence. This thing looks like it was ripped straight out of Dragon Ball Z. It has kind of the same effect as a Hanzo and a Zenyatta ult at the same time. Now, first of all, it has absolutely ridiculous range. So remember the attack was about uh, 20 meters or so? Look how far away this ult will last. Surrender to my will. That's a pretty good amount of damage. And I am 30 meters away. So it has absolutely ridiculous range on it. Now, I need to recharge my ult real fast, then I'm going to show you the healing. All right, I have my ultimate. I'm about the same distance as I was before, which is about 30 meters. And I'm going to heal these guys up. I'm going to use up all of my biotic energy. So I'm going to test a bunch of things right now. I'm going to test how much damage it does, how much healing it does, if it will recharge my biotic energy, and if it will heal me. So ready? Here we go. Surrender to my will. So it does way more healing than it does damage. It does not charge my biotic energy, but it does heal me. So that's pretty good. So basically, 
This isn't going to melt the entire team like a Hanzo ult would, but it's going to be really, really powerful for keeping your team alive while also doing some damage. And because it does also heal you for the damage that you do, uh, it does help keep yourself alive as well. But of course, like I said, it doesn't give you any of that biotic energy back on your resource meter. All right, so there is one last thing on the ult that I wanted to test. You're supposed to get a pretty big movement speed bonus, but you're also kind of floating in the air. So I wanted to see if it actually allows you to float a little bit better than normal. So ready? Here we go. Surrender so you see, you will. do actually move quite a bit, but yeah, there's no floating. So you do move very, very fast, but uh, no, you're not going to be able to hover in the air uh, like Goku and start, you know, blasting all the enemies. That's just not going to happen. All right, guys, that is it. Those are all of Moira's abilities. Hopefully you have a much better understanding now of the distance, the damage, the healing, all that sort of stuff. And again, if you want to try out the character yourself, you can go to the PTR. Just go to your Battle.net launcher, change your region from Americas or Europe or whatever you have it set to PTR. Download the PTR client and then you can try it out. But that is going to be about it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Let me know what you think about the new character in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All that stuff. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.